Okay, we're on location. We want to show you a little bit about the Power Hub 1800 system. And uh, you get two panels with it, 250 watt panels. And we want to show you that uh, it's adjustable for summer and winter because the sun's at a different angle. So these systems fit out in your yard and you can adjust them in the winter time to maximize the utility value of the sun, adjust them again in the summer back so you're getting the best, uh, best of the sun visibility. As it's sitting right now, Bill, this is at 30 degrees, it's the best sunlight in the summer. In the winter time, when the uh, sun is lower in the horizon, all we have to do is angle it up to 45 degrees and catch a better angle with the sun during the winter. This is the 150 watt panel. And so have, I can make the adjustments. We have plastic knobs for making the adjustments, so no tools are needed to adjust the panels. Hooking up the Power Hub 1800 is very simple, and Dave's going to show you just how fast you can get going. The two panels come pre wired. All you have to do to connect the two panels together in parallel is to uh, place the plugs together, twist them to lock, and then take the uh, common 50 foot cable to the Power Hub. Plug it in the same way, twist and lock, and the entire system is wired. And you're generating electricity. Now we want to show you a little bit about the unit itself. So once you've got power coming in, Dave's going to show you the power comes in from the outside, from the two solar panels. The solar panel plugs into this connector right here. Power then flows through the blue cord into this box, which has the solar controller in it. The solar controller regulates the output from the solar panels, sends that power into the inverter unit to charge the batteries. The batteries are located inside of this box. The batteries are connected into the inverter unit through this Anderson deconnector. So now the batteries are disconnected from the unit. Access to the batteries is very simple through six screws on the top of the battery compartment. The lid comes right off. The two main batteries are uh, 90 amp hour Exide Marathon batteries. These batteries are deep cycle batteries that are used by the telecommunications industry. They carry a 10 year warranty on them and uh, they're very robust batteries. Should last for many, many years of use. Uh, if the batteries need to be serviced or removed, they can just simply be lifted out of this box and uh, new ones replaced in, just like replacing the batteries in your car. When the batteries are plugged into the inverter unit, and the inverter unit does not have any AC power coming to it, if you turn it on, the display panel will automatically show you the amount of power that will come out of the AC outlets with the uh, selector button you can check the voltage on the batteries you can select the output power which is zero right now since we have no loads connected push the button again and you get the input power from a wind generator this unit is all pre-wired ready to accept the wiring from a regulated wind generator supply you push the button once more and you see the uh, input power from the solar panels and if you were plugged into the wall if you pushed it again you would see the kilowatts being used out of your wall outlet and then the unit automatically reverts to the net power being supplied to the outlet receptacles right now as you can see the unit is not plugged into the wall we can plug a rather hefty electrical load into the unit and as you can see it's ready to run this particular device pulls about uh, 400 watts when it's running so this is a very heavy load and uh, you could run that for a considerable amount of time many many hours off of this particular battery operated power supply. One of the questions that folks generally ask us is, well, what will it power? 
And uh, our engineer Dave was telling me a story that, of an application that he used it for that I thought was quite fascinating. I thought we wanted to tell you a little bit about that. And that's his experience uh, actually smelting some lead with the unit. So why don't you tell him what happened when... Yeah, Bill, after we first built the prototype, I was curious just how much power this thing would supply. So I hooked it up to my lead smelting furnace, which is a continuous load of about 700 watts when it's turned on high. And uh, running off of no power whatsoever except for the batteries in our unit, I was able to melt 30 pounds of lead and keep it melted long enough to pour it into these one pound ingots. And uh, that took me about three and a half hours one evening to melt that much lead. And uh, when I got done, I was uh, getting tired in the evening, so I finally just shut the, the, the process down. And the unit still had plenty of power left, so I hooked two 75 watt light bulbs up to it and left them on all night long. And the unit didn't run out of power until sometime the following morning. Now we really developed this Power Up 1800 unit based on all the requests from our customers who wanted more power from our original solar generator. So with Dave, our engineer's help, we developed this unit. Now this is going to power your refrigerator, for example. Many people ask us about a refrigerator. This is going to power a refrigerator for weeks, well, practically permanently. As long as the sun's out every couple of days, your refrigerator's going to be on forever. And it's, it's portable but it weighs about 180 pounds because there's a lot of battery power there. So this is probably one of the, the most powerful uh, portable units that you can buy. Thanks for taking the time to uh, spend with us as we look at our PowerHub 1800.